And now we have our final speaker is Mr. Doug Rollins, Rollins, and he's going to be speaking for a Peace Action and Veterans for Peace. Corporate America, be forewarned. We are your karma. We are your Orion rising in the night sky. We are your scorpion in your jackboot. Corporate America, be forewarned. We will not buy your bloody parades anymore. We refuse your worthless praise. We spit on your war memorials. Corporate America, be forewarned. We will not feed you our bodies, our minds, our children anymore. Corporate America, be forewarned. If we have our way, and we will, the real war memorials will rise from your ashes. I wrote that poem in the early 1980s when I heard that they were, they were going to be building a, a war memorial for my war in Washington, D.C. I was angry, upset, uh, still after 12 years simmering, and I realized I had been used by corporations to advance their agendas. I was a racketeer in the United States Army, a tool, a tool of their colonial designs. So I anticipated a memorial that would not reflect my feelings about war. It would be a testament to the glories of Wall Street financiers and bankers whose only encounter with the wars they were paying for was some dumb Hollywood invention. Fortunately, Maya Lin came along and gave us a true memorial to the real costs of war. Hence, we started Veterans for Peace in 1985, here in Maine, by the way, to confront that vapid militarism, that grotesque perversion of the American dream. In 1986, we in VFP went to DC to support members who were protesting our bankers' wars in Central America by holding a 40-day water-only fast on the Capitol steps. They almost died. And one of them, Charlie Lickey, a recipient of the highest award bestowed on a soldier, the Medal of Honor, became the only soldier in our country's history to return that medal in protest against Wall Street wars. We in Veterans for Peace have dedicated our lives to abolishing war, and we have chosen nonviolent direct action as our weapon. We aren't messing around. We do not want our children and grandchildren to become tools of mayhem in the service of companies who are intent on pillaging this planet Earth. But today, today, we as veterans also recognize that people are capable of change. After all, we were soldiers who were used in wars. We followed orders even when we knew deep down in our hearts that the orders were immoral. We have become mere assets to be employed for some fat cat's monetary gain. But we left the military and reflected on what we had become, what we were, and we knew we had to change, and we did. We still hold within us the horrors of war. We will never lose those. But we have decided to use those memories in the service of peace, rather than have them use us as passive perpetrators of destruction. So today we turn to you who are employed by these banks and who may not have been fully aware of the destruction your employers have wrought, and we ask you to join us, to use the empathy inside of you to imagine the plight of the poor who lay at your feet, and to realize that you have become a weapon of war that have laid these people there. You can change. You can take your banks and convert them into financiers of windmills, hospital ships, solar panels. Woo! Six. It's hard to do. You're doing great. <laughs> and cooperatives. Okay, sorry. You can use your vast skills to build communities, not destroy them. You can join us today in our action to build a sustainable world of equality and love. Come on out into the streets. We are waiting for you. The children of the world are waiting for you. Come join our beloved community. Thank you, Doug. Doug Rollins. We have a send-off song for you. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up. 
Wake up, little Susie, wake up. The climate's getting hot. We're in a nightmare spot. We've been asleep, now we're in deep. The biosphere is shot. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up, little Susie. Well, what are we going to tell the bankers? What are we going to tell big oil? What are we going to tell ourselves when we see oceans boil? Wake up, little Susie. Wake up, little Susie. Well, I told myself I simply didn't know what was growing my portfolio. Wake up, little Susie. Wake up, little Susie. We gotta switch banks.